show where we're working on, for example, how estimating special temporal dynamics of solid waste by coupling the material flow analysis and geographic information system. So again, I'm um, an assistant professor working in work with the Dr. Wei Chen. She uh, she's a uh, she's background in industry ecology and actually my background is mostly focused on GIS, remote <coughs> sensing, and urban ecology. So that's what we do is try to combine the special analysis and material flow analysis to estimate not just material stock, of course the flaws, so the waste generation is belongs to the waste flows. So uh, what we have done is to based on this uh, like uh, urban big data, and then we try to build a city simulator, so called, to estimate and simulate material flow and stocks in cities. So uh, in this city simulator, it could be in your computer, it could be a virtual reality, it could be a three dimension cities and. For each building, maybe we know the year of building of that building. In that situation, we can simulate or and understand the urban dynamic, right? So maybe <laughs> the next step, we try to understand the building's vitality. That we can understand the building or city can provide what kind of functions and services for its uh, citizens. So based on this situation, the first case in Shaman case, we try to understand. Uh, the construction and material stock in buildings. So, uh, based on the material stock analysis, it's normally like this: the material stock equals to the total area of each building times the material intensity for that building. Then we do that in Shaman cases. It's located in the southeast part of China, and across the sea is Taiwan Island. And for downtown part of Shaman, we have. Two islands. The bigger one is called Shaman Island, and smaller smaller one is called Glass Island. So we, based on that material stock and flow analysis, we try to estimate, uh, for example, a total of 4.7 million tons of steel and about 25 million tons of brick were stored in Shaman's buildings. Okay, that's the whole picture, and let's look more details in that. For example, from high view, if we standing on the top of Glass Island and watch. The Zhongshan Road and the downtown part of Shaman Island, you will watch this. So, the bottom is the virtual reality city in our computers, and the upper picture is the real snapshot when we're standing on the top of Gansu Island and watch Shaman Island. You can find the contrast to building's height first of your image. The, the flat buildings on the Gansu Island and high building skyscrapers on Shaman Island. So, that's the normal high view part. So if we move our perspective from what we can see to a stock view of EU steel, you can find the gap between these two islands was wider. Because most of the buildings on Shan Island uh, is belongs to the reforest structure, reforest concrete structure. So we use, we use huge amounts of the steel to build them. But on Kulasu Island, its uh, buildings belongs to the uh, brick concrete. Structure, so we use huge of the brick to build them. So that gap was filled in these pictures. So that's why, uh, for from the brick concrete buildings, the UD have a not very high end, but the brick intensity is very high. So that's the material intensity is very high, but reforest concrete building usually have very higher value in height, but lower value of brick intensity, and in contrast. For, the, for those uh, in use steel perspective, the brick concrete building usually have lower values of height and steel intensity, but the reinforced concrete building usually have higher level of height intensity. So that that's why the special pattern of the in use steel shows more special heterogeneity than the pattern of the brick stock. So beyond the stock part work, we also want to simulate. Uh, Slopes. The, the output force is the, uh, like to generate uh, waste, especially. So we do the Dunga case to estimate the e waste in this part. So again, we use the big data or the urban ecology and the, and the geo geographic information system try to es estimate the e waste generation in Dunga 
promise they need to buy CD. So we also simulate, the, for example, the in-use, stock, the purchase, or the waste generation in Dunga in temporal scale. And of course, uh, we also got the special temporal dynamics of the TV waste generation, for example, from 2000 and 2020. So that's the e-waste for a household. If you have television in your home, you may buy a new one or you may uh, trash it, maybe. that's. To, uh, generate that special temporal pattern of the U.S. generation. So that's uh, so beyond these two cases. That's our background. So we also want to do a more comprehensive case in for Beijing, for example. So that's why we choose cooperate with Paul in this city. So for that part, uh, I can give some first big picture and general information for for you. And that's the waste generation in Beijing from 2013 and 2017. So let's see the industrial waste first. It looks good because the industrial waste, including hazard waste and non hazard waste, time from 2013 to 2017. And for medical waste, it increased and keep increasing from 2013 to 2017. But the total volume of the medical waste is not too much. So maybe it's not a problem, even maybe they have more serious uh, environmental pollution on soil, water, or air. And a rough estimation of the construction waste and agricultural waste generation in Beijing is about uh, 23 million tons in 2017 and about 3.5 million tons in 2017, but it's not from the annual report of the government. Uh, it's our rough estimation for Beijing. And a big problem in Beijing is the household waste or domestic waste. You, you, you can find this trend tendency, it's uh, keep increasing from 2013 to uh, 2017, and seems like it will keep increase in the future. And the total volume is reach nine million tons in 2017, keep increasing, so it's a very big problem. So, uh, beyond the total volume numbers of that part of uh, in Beijing, so we also want to know the waste, where to come and where to go through. So, uh, so for waste drop size, we believe too many in Beijing is rather than in Cape Town, so we do not collect that information, so we just use the Cape Town picture to instead of it. But we collected the waste transfer station, parts of the waste transfer station in Beijing. And that's the source is the Beijing Municipal Administration Committee. And we recognize the name of that, then recognize on the Baidu map and try to find the longitude, latitude, and geo information. So in the map, uh, map software. Of course, the final des destination of the waste is the waste treatment facilities. We also collect that information. There's uh, about more than 20, even 30 uh, treatment facilities located in Beijing. And also this trash was being treated by three main types. So parts of them, uh, about one third by landfill, and one sixth by compost, and about another half will be uh, by burn. So it's from this logical, it seems like we try to trace the waste from whole life cycle, especially in space that we are very good at. So from this, we got uh, the information from the generation of the waste, then drop off, then transfer, then treatment. Even uh, in this cycle, parts of waste could be reused or recycled. So that were we done, but any data in Beijing, if you can share, share with us, very appreciate Because not just waste, because waste is just the topic of this uh, conference. And just like Tor said, any environment, uh, social, economic data, even more knowledge from the journal articles, reports, and thesis, if you can share with us, it's great appreciate for that. And next, every part of this uh, Beijing data we can, we have uploaded on the platform for the, this, the metabolism of cities. 
So we can add this, right? So different for Cape Town centers, we just have a waste part. We invite people to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> so for uh, waste center, just like the Cape Town has done, we also have just like the whole cycle, whole life cycle of the waste. We have the waste generation, waste transfer, and waste treatment, and parts of the police policies and regulations for that. And of course, the total volume of uh, waste generation for Beijing has uploaded just like what I have shown. Uh, uh, including the industrial waste, medical waste, construction, uh, agriculture, and and household waste. And then we also upload the geo information about uh, transfer stations and uh, final treatment facilities. O of course, you can check the capacity of these facilities, like it's treat waste by burn, by compost, or by landfill, and there daily capacity of this uh, treat facility also have uploaded. 